Welcome to Cryptic Mystic Vault, where history unravels its secrets. Today we delve into the life of Charlemagne, a man known as the Father of Europe. Born in the mid-7th century, Charlemagne, or Charles the Great, was destined for greatness from an early age. He ascended to the throne as King of the Franks, following the death of his father, Pepin the Short. Charlemagne's reign was marked by a series of military conquests that expanded the Frankish kingdom, laying the foundation for what would later become the Carolingian Empire. His crowning achievement came on Christmas Day in the year 800, when he was crowned Emperor of the Romans by Pope Leo III, a title that hadn't been used in the West for over three centuries. This marked a new era in European history where the power of the Roman Empire was revived in the West. Charlemagne's reign had just begun and Europe was about to witness a transformation like never before. Charlemagne was not just a ruler, but a warrior, conquering lands and expanding his empire. This man of iron will and unyielding determination embarked on a series of military campaigns that would forever reshape the map of Western Europe. He wasn't satisfied with merely ruling the Franks. His ambitions were far grander. Think about it. This was a time when the concept of a unified Europe was nothing more than a distant dream. But Charlemagne dared to dream that dream. He envisioned an empire that stretched from the chilly waters of the North Sea to the warm shores of the Mediterranean. And so, he set about turning his dream into reality. His armies marched across the continent, winning key victories that solidified his control over vast territories. From the rolling hills of modern-day France, to the dense forests of Germany, from the snowy peaks of the Italian Alps, to the rich farmlands of the Low Countries, nothing was beyond his reach. But these weren't mere land grabs. Each conquest brought him closer to his ultimate goal, the unification of Europe. He wasn't just expanding his empire, he was building the foundations of a new order, one where diverse tribes and kingdoms were bound together under a single rule. With every victory, Charlemagne was one step closer to unifying Europe under his rule. His dream was becoming a reality, and the face of Europe was changing forever. Charlemagne's rule was not just about military might. He was a visionary, seeking to bring about a renaissance in Europe. Central to his vision was the establishment of a centralized government. To this end, he introduced administrative reforms, including the creation of the Missi Dominici. These royal agents were dispatched to local regions to enforce the emperor's policies and maintain control. This top-down approach ensured a more unified and efficient governance, allowing Charlemagne's vast empire to function as a cohesive whole. But Charlemagne's vision extended beyond just administrative reform. He sought to revive the glory of the Roman Empire, not through conquest, but by fostering a cultural rebirth. This period, known as the Carolingian Renaissance, saw an explosion of art, culture and learning. Charlemagne actively promoted education, establishing schools and encouraging the learning of Latin, the lingua franca of the time. His court became a hub for scholars, who were tasked with preserving classical texts. This not only saved many ancient works from oblivion, but also laid the groundwork for the standardization of Christian liturgy and Latin script. This widespread standardization was a significant step in creating a shared cultural identity across Charlemagne's empire. Thus, under Charlemagne, Europe experienced a revival, shaping its identity for centuries to come. Charlemagne's reign saw a deep intertwining of church and state and an economic revolution. As the crowned emperor of the Romans, Charlemagne saw the Catholic Church as a unifying force in his expansive empire. He actively promoted Christianity, establishing monasteries that not only served as spiritual centers, but also as hubs of education and culture. These institutions played a crucial role in preserving classical texts, fostering learning and standardizing Christian liturgy and Latin script, thereby shaping the intellectual landscape of Europe. Simultaneously, Charlemagne sparked an economic revolution he introduced a standardized system of weights, measures and currency, which streamlined trade across the empire. This economic unification, coupled with the establishment of marketplaces and promotion of commerce, stimulated growth and prosperity throughout his reign. In the realms of faith and finance, Charlemagne left an indelible mark. His influence extended beyond his lifetime, shaping the religious, cultural and economic landscape of Europe for centuries to come. Charlemagne's reign ended, but his impact on Europe was far from over. 
His legacy was monumental, setting the stage for the continent's future. As ruler, his military conquests carved out a vast empire, fostering a unique European identity that transcended regional boundaries. His administrative reforms, from the Missi Dominici to the standardization of currency, sparked the creation of a centralized state, a concept that would influence medieval kingship for centuries to come. The Carolingian Renaissance, under his patronage, saw an explosion of art, culture, and learning, preserving ancient wisdom while igniting a new standard for education. His relationship with the Catholic Church marked a pivotal role in the spread of Christianity across Europe, shaping its spiritual landscape. In essence, Charlemagne's reign was a turning point, a period of transformation that laid the groundwork for the Europe we know today. Thus, Charlemagne, a man of vision and action, forever shaped the course of European history.